Podcast City Network. And good evening, everyone. You are listening to another episode of the Deathmatch Russell Podcast. Tonight, this is a special podcast because I'm bringing the one and only Papa Stunt. You might have heard of him because his son is famous in AEW and he wrestles elsewhere as well. And his other son, Logan Stunt, you know, the Stunt Brothers. Um, it's my privilege to have him on tonight. Let's talk to him and see what he's up to. And let's talk wrestling fans. Tune in right now. Papa Stunt, how are you? I'm doing great, man. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I loved your... You guys started your own podcast. You guys had one going, right? We did. We did a few episodes, and it just got kind of difficult with uh, yeah. Marco's schedule. Yeah. We, we were having a hard time getting everything lined up. I, I thought about continuing. It was just me and Mama stuff, but we didn't. Oh, we no. Not doing it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Got to have Mama in there, too, you know. You can't leave oh, her. Yeah. You have to have her with the, you know. I was watching, I actually was watching a match, uh, was it last night? I caught, I was so bored, so I flipped on, I was looking through old, old like, uh, you know, wrestling promotions, and I was watching the, I was watching the Black Label Pro one where you, uh, it was the Barry Windham, Barry Windham special, oh, I guess, yeah. where you got, right. where you gave him heat, <laughs> you gave, gave him a little heat, the, uh, the wrestler there, that was great. Yeah, it was fun with uh, Brian Alvarez. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We had a yeah. We kind of got a little war going. He and Marco had a match right way before, and and they had some, back before Marco broke his leg, and they were supposed to be having a rematch in Seattle yeah. in January, and then Marco broke his leg, and mm-hmm. then they were supposed to be together on spring uh, at a mm-hmm. at a wrestlemania week and it and mm-hmm. it didn't work out and so then they finally got back together and and he was saying a bunch of crap on twitter so i started coming back at him and the next thing you know <laughs> yeah we're involved in the match <laughs> that's awesome that's just great it was great to, you know just the, the heat and people were probably like this is awesome this is great you know it, it got quite a reaction it was a lot of fun <laughs> that, yeah and that event actually that event was pretty good too i was watching the full show it was really good yeah Awesome. Yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed Black Label Pro. We we mm-hmm. we went up there for quite for several of the shows. Yeah, and, I was going to uh, say there. You've been on. I'm sure you guys. He's been on a couple of those shows, or the boys have. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. They've traveled all over the country, and we there for a while. I was traveling all I could with Marco, and then mm-hmm. um, he got to traveling so much that I he started. He got to where he was leaving every Thursday and not getting home till Monday, and I just couldn't do it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, so your schedule is different than his. You know, you can't. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta work a job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you can't be uh, you know, at wrestling every twenty four hours. But <laughs> no, I can't. If they would pay me to be a fan, I would do that. Hey, <laughs> well, it could be arranged. Hey, Cody, no, <laughs> Cody in the box. Come on, <laughs> no, yeah. no, I don't they, know if they want to put that in their budget. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, right. They wouldn't even pay me for talking to you right <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> just two outsiders anyway you're right <laughs> that's it that's it no yeah but the first time i mean you know i've seen your you know i was we you're when your first when your son first came to the, you know game changer wrestling in mm-hmm. you know the early you know in the new york lost in new york you know yeah, i was there with him yeah i was there too we were having a great yeah. night it was a really incredible night just just you know the whole show and seeing seeing we just perform did you get to see that that was awesome i did yeah we were there live for that we actually uh yeah. logan and i drove up there with marco uh-huh. and uh were there for the show and got to see everything and it, yeah it was cool to get to meet Weedus and get to see them play and then yeah uh, that was also um, Matt Riddle's last match in the Indies. Yeah, you know, do you know what? I left after that. My friend got sick. 
My fr oh, really? Yeah, he was... Yeah, I guess he had some good... I don't know what he had. Some funky something. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> we let, I missed that match, though. But I, I heard oh, it was I good. It. it was very good. Yeah. But, but Matt Riddle, anyway, yeah. always good to see him perform. That was, yeah, yeah, that was a cool night. It was it was, it was was surreal for us because we yeah. had... I mean... Coming from a small town, I know. It's like... It, it was. It yeah. was Marco... I mean, Marco had started to blow up a little bit, mm -hmm. but not huge i mean only in a certain little region down here he yeah had, he had gotten recognized he was in the sci tournament uh yeah a couple of weeks before that in chattanooga mm -hmm. and won their um i forgot what the, what it's called now it's it's for uh -huh. new people yeah and uh to try to get recognition and he he won that and he got he like he was so excited because he went from like 500 and something followers on Twitter to mm -hmm. 800 and something followers on Twitter in like a month. Yeah, it was, was insane. So excited. It was insane. <laughs> it was insane his but, rise. Like it just but then, Yeah. But after lost to New York, he went from 800 and I think it was 836 followers the day we got to New York. Yeah. And by that next Monday, he was well over 2000. Yeah. yeah. It was just absolutely nuts. I know. And then he, then he got to go other places too, California with getting, oh. man, he got to travel before well all, well that's when he broke his leg too don't forget right it was, yeah, yes he it was, was a year LA. Ago, last week in yeah, LA he was in a, yeah lost in LA it was just a year ago last week is when he broke his leg and Man. he ended up being out for about four and a half months I know I know but yeah the lost in New York is kind of what got it all started they brought him up there and yeah he came out of the crowd and I know uh, he, surprise when Cody saw him on that Cody and the Young Bucks saw him that night on the on, on the uh, pay-per-view mm -hmm. and they after the thing, Marco comes up to me going, Dad, somebody said that, somebody came up and told me that Cody's trying to get a hold of me. And I'm like, yeah, quit messing with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so we go over there and the guy's showing us the messages that yeah. Cody sent and he wanted to know about this kid. And he, oh, uh, man. the next morning we woke up yeah. and I get up in the hotel room, wake up and I'm like, guys, come on, we gotta, we gotta get going. If y'all want to go to Times Square and stuff, we, we gotta get going. And yeah. Finally, Marco looks up at his phone, and his eyes got real big, and he's, Dad, I got a message from Cody. I'm like, what? What did he do, send you a DM? He goes, no, I have Cody Rhodes' phone number. <laughs> you're like, and you're, and you're like, wow. I know, you're probably, oh, I, I know. I was popping. It was absolutely crazy. And uh, yeah. they spent the day texting back and forth, and then they announced him for All In that night. Yes, yes. And... It went nuts. I mean, everybody was wanting to know who is this kid, where would he come from. And, he's a great uh, kid. He's got a good sense of humor, and you know, he's he's the right you know he's the right for wrestling. You know, and and what and I like the tag team they have now. You know, it's great. The Luchasaurus, oh, and, you know, the Jurassic oh, yeah. Express is Jurassic, perfect. Yeah, they're they're doing great. Yeah, that was originally when they first approached yeah. Marco about joining AEW. Yeah, they asked him if he would like to tag with. Jungle Boy. Yeah. And because uh, Jungle Boy's first time to really get exposed was also GCW. Yeah, absolutely. Lost in New York. Yeah, yeah. No, and, no, not. I got lost in New York. I'm sorry. Yeah, LA. Because um, his father. Because yeah. you know what? His father was at present that night for that show, I think. Right. And yeah, which was real. I know. That's, that's the night that Marco yeah. broke his leg. And, yeah. And uh, that was Jungle Boy's first night with GCW. Yeah. And it kind of shot him up like crazy too. It, so shot, it shot those they, guys up really quick, you know. They just, oh, it did. I mean, they, they got did. they got noticed by you know by Brett by Cody and everybody else. I mean, they know that the wrestling. Right. You know, these guys are smart and they have what it takes to be a wrestler. You know, wrestlers. Oh yeah. Well, that's the thing with Marco. He, mm -hmm. I know he's small and everybody gives him a hard time, and he gets a lot of crap on online about that yeah yeah uh, about he doesn't deserve to be a wrestler he's not big enough he's not believable i know here a couple of weeks ago somebody was going off on one of my tweets mm -hmm. saying that he wasn't that it's just got to be believable and i said yeah i really had a hard time when the undertaker came back to life right and, yeah and, <laughs> it's like it's wrestling, man. It's, it's a, it's. I know you get your ups, you get your, you know, you get your ups, you get your downs in it, and you yeah, know he, he moves up. Well, the thing with Marco though is he really understands, yeah, how it's supposed to work. He mm -hmm. learned it very fast, and he just has a natural ability for it. He knows how to get in there, mm -hmm. and as a little man, yeah, make it look believable because he doesn't try to do the stupid stuff that doesn't make sense. He does things no. that works for his size. Yeah, you're right. I mean, he's. <laughs> I mean, look at this. What. Every week he's on TV almost, you know? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> like it's, it's crazy. It's, it They're is. getting more and more popularity. I mean, you're probably like, oh, am I going to go this weekend? Am I going to go this weekend? No, I can't. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, the problem is they're always on Wednesday nights. So yeah. 
I can't travel all over the country during the week because I have to work. I know. Uh, but we the went big, to the one yeah. in Nashville. We, we were at All Out. Yeah. We did go to, Na- to Chicago and went to StarCast and mm-hmm. then went to All Out. Yeah. And uh, and then we were at the one in Nashville a couple of weeks ago. And they're going to actually be here in South Haven, Mississippi. Yeah, I uh, saw that. Yeah. January 8th. That's or 7th or 8th, whatever that is. And we're that's actually mm-hmm. five minutes from Mar- from where Marco lives now. He and his brother are having an apartment there in yeah, South yeah. Haven. And so... Hey, we're we're going to that one for sure. <laughs> there you uh, go. You, nothing wrong with that. They come to man. Jersey, you know. They need to come to Jersey. They need to do a man, Jer- you know, probably yeah. down the line. I'm sure it's coming. Oh, I'm sure they will eventually. Yeah. Because they got to do it state by state by state. You know, they got to right. t- take more. You know, bookings. You know, get noticed more. But it's really it's come a long way. Like you think about it, like a little promotion. Like that promotion just uh, overnight just took over. Like. You know, oh, it was nuts. I, when they first started talking about it, and I heard the rumors. I mean, that's you know, Marco and I yeah. talked about it. We're like, well, yeah, they'll do okay. It's not like they're really going to compete with WWE. They're just going to yeah have a really good promotion. But then, man, they went all out. They really did. They, and you look at the ratings. Like you, I just saw oh, rating. Yeah. I just read something online about the ratings. Like they have topped. They topped it. <laughs> I'm like, that's good. Oh yeah. I mean, that's yeah, good. they're doing they're doing great. I mean, you know, they're not they're not where they're beating mm-hmm. Raw or SmackDown in the ratings right now, but they are. Yeah. where they are, they're incredible. And to I mean, for up, a new company and going to out to be on to be on TNT, doing. come on, you know, like a national mm-hmm. national popular you know channel. Oh yeah, and anybody out there that wants to complain and say that. They think it's not good enough. They just, I mean, let them go try to do better. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know how many times I try to watch, I used to watch WWE so much, you know, and I was like, you know what? It's nothing. It's the same stuff yeah. over and over. You know, it's the same matches that we, we hear in the same storylines, same guys that, you know, the same drop promo, promos from John Cena and, you know, this and that. It, I was like, really? it's time to move on. Like, well, I'm, my thing is I still watch them. Yeah, the I do. T- I, I watch I, every episode, but I, yeah. watch a good, I watch most of them. And, mm-hmm. I, and yeah. you know, Marco kind of, yeah. here a while back, Marco kind of ventured off because he got so into the indie scene. He did. That yeah. all he was watching was all the indie promotions trying to figure out. And, you know, yeah. I think in our mind, we were just thinking once he got to that point where he was flying to California, New York, and these different places on a regular basis, that yeah. he kind of made it. He and, did. <laughs> yeah, I know. In Jersey all the time, he would be in Jersey. Yeah. And- Oh yeah, Jersey. and then the next thing you know, he's signed to a contract on national TV. So it's like it's you never know what's going to happen. Man. No, that's like Joey, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, that, I mean, yeah, I mean, that, and that's the thing. If people, if people still give Joey a hard time, they really mean, do. Grief. They do. They do. But you know what? Joey's made it so far, and look, he just came back on, and he was just on the GCW pay per view, and he said, "Yeah, I saw that." You know, yeah. made, to calling out. John Moxley, you know, come on, right? That's gonna be great. That's gonna be good. That is, he, it, it, yeah. It, Joey's great. He he's he, crazy, but he's great. <laughs> he's a crazy character. Like you think about it, he had his, you know, he's like a, he's your Mister WrestleMania of this. You know, he's Mister WrestleMania. <laughs> like he is. A, a, the well, scene. He, he is. is. I mean, Spring Break is the biggest show. I've never attended one league. yet. I I've always watched it on the pay per view. You know. Yeah, and, I haven't been yet either, but I would love to go. Marco yeah. Marco asked me the other day, did I want to go to the one this year? Mm-hmm. Uh, the one coming up, and I yeah. said, we'll look at it and see. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, we can get a uh, what, what is it a a house? Yeah, get a rental. B and B thing. Whatever. Yeah, 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 and yeah. Airbnb? Yeah. Said, we'll just all go and stay together. I'm like, uh, okay, we'll look at it. <laughs> Why not? What the hell? Spend the $100,000. Hey, who cares? <laughs> right? And just be like, hey, put it on Marco's bill this week, okay? Thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> put it... <laughs> <laughs> Treat me for Christmas <laughs> instead, Marco. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's why I, tra- I tried to do that last week, or yeah. yeah, a little over a week ago. We went out to dinner, out to lunch with some friends that came into town, and yeah, and the guy. It's a restaurant we go to a lot. And the guy mm-hmm. just automatically brought me the check for everybody. And there's like eight of us, and I'm yeah. like, all right. And I handed it to Marco, and he said, I can pay that. And I'm like, okay. And then he set it on the table and walked off. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably like, I haven't had a real job, Dad. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm still Dad. I still pick up the tabs. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, yeah, he's gonna. But he is at least out on his own now. You know? Yeah, hey, you know what? 
Mm-hmm. You know what he's, uh, you know, as a, you know, as an adult, and we know, you know, hey, you gotta be on your own, independent, uh-huh. you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm super proud of him to be honest, because he was actually, he was still living at home, yeah, up until just a few months ago, and he, last year when he broke his leg, yeah, he, they were, they were making plans mm-hmm. to get an apartment and move out because he had already started doing pretty well in the indie scene, mm-hmm. um, and he, he was planning on moving out, and then he broke his leg and was out of commission for like four months or whatever yeah. so after that it was once he got his contract though he was <laughs> he's happy he just, yeah he, yeah, was... he, just brought, he went and bought him a car and went and mm-hmm. they got an apartment together and yeah they're they're doing he's doing really well with it. he's being very responsible yeah taking care of his stuff he probably don't want me talking about that on here but no nope. i'm probably hey, marco <laughs> we're, we're busting on you <laughs> Yeah, exactly. He knows me. He knows. He's a great kid. He's a great person. He's well, he's got a lot of good friends, and you know, and I'm one of them, and, and you're one of them too. You know. Yeah. Well, I, I know I embarrass him sometimes because I, I get in my dad mode and talk about things that he don't that I probably shouldn't. But yeah, yeah. I'm proud. I am. I'm a super proud. Of both of my boys. I am so yeah, proud. Yeah. You know, Logan right now is in Seattle mm-hmm. doing. He, he did a show last night, and he had one this afternoon. He's got another one tomorrow, mm-hmm. and. Uh, he he's just really he's yeah only he's been wrestling no he's uh, less than a year yeah and he's gonna get noticed really he'll just get the it slowly progresses you know that it's oh, yeah, it's gonna yeah. take time but you know what he's under the GCW eyes you know so oh, yeah. like I'm seeing he's on the Wombat show like that's great he is yeah, that's next some... weekend I'm looking forward to that I got to do commentary for that one. Oh, no kidding oh cool yeah. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I did, I did the last one so maybe, maybe you'll have to give a shout out to a uh, Deathmatch Russell podcast on uh, the commentary. Go, I'll give you. I right. remind you. I remind you. <laughs> All right, do that. <laughs> I did that for Deshaun when he was in Cali. You know. Oh yeah. When he was yeah on the mic with uh, uh, Kevin Gill. You know. Yeah, that's well. Kevin's going to be there for this one, I think. Yeah, we yeah. did. Uh, we the last one, Bat. They they mm-hmm. contacted me and asked me because I've done. Yeah. I actually did commentary for a while down here at a couple of different promotions. I was going to say, yeah, I saw you. I've seen. I've, I was going to say, I've seen a lot of pictures of you with the microphone. I was going to say, yeah, it seems like you were. You've had your hand in it. Yeah. You know? well, well, down here in the Memphis area, and mm-hmm. I, I never was involved until Marco started wrestling. But right down here in the Memphis area, there's mm-hmm. they there's a lot of the promotions down here that still do mm-hmm. where they do commentary live over the loudspeaker that yeah, you know, so everybody in the crowd can hear it mm-hmm. and. A lot of people don't like that, but some. But this crowd down here does, mm-hmm. and so my first taste of it. That's what I. We were at a show, yeah, and one of the commentators didn't show up, and they're like, "Hey, you want to try?" And it's one of these little small shows, around about maybe seventy five hundred people. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, "Okay." I was like, "Sure, I'll do it." And so I get on the mic, and about halfway through it, the uh, promoter comes up to me and says, "Hey, you've got a full time job now." And of course, that meant, <sighs> yeah. You know, being when, a, whenever they're running, yeah, uh, I, I get to get on the mic for free. So. Yeah, <laughs> cut the shit. Yeah, cut the shit. It just call matches, you know. And call yeah, moves. It like, was a lot of fun. It, yeah, we went up to another promotion, and they they ended up making me a, a heel commentator there, and I, that was right. a lot of fun because yeah. I just got to go off on on people all the time. So. Right. This show you're gonna. This show will be fun because you get to really go off, go off on the kid, you know. Who's oh, thick. it is. So, yeah. I, well, that's the thing. I did the last one bad. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I wasn't real sure. I kind of, of course, Joey was also, it was, it was me and Kevin Gill. And then yes. Joey was a guest commentator because he yeah. had gotten hurt. Yeah. And he was and, drinking enough. <laughs> Always. Yeah, exactly. Drink, drink so, his- so these guys, I kind of let them dominate and I mm-hmm. just threw in something here and there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. But it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing it. I've got to do some ring announcing a few times, a few mm-hmm. places around too. And, mm-hmm. and, it's a lot of fun. It's not. It is. I think it I is. can make a living at, but no, <laughs> he, it's a fun hop. It's a fun when they want to ask you to come. You know, just do it for oh, Logan, it for, for like Logan or whoever. You know, come on in. They'll yeah, let there, you. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of promotions that I've shown up at with the boys, mm-hmm. and for some reason their ring announcer wasn't there. Or whatever, and they'd be like, "Hey, can you do it, Papa Stud?" I'm like, "Okay, all right, <laughs> here you go. I know how to do this now. I'm I'm a pro. <laughs> it's fun." You know, it's like me podcasting. You know, I just got to, yeah, I just got asked to do another sponsorship again in January. I can't wait, but. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we're bringing in somebody special from Japan. I cannot wait to talk about that a uh, <laughs> couple of weeks. That's, uh. Well, that'll be cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did get, I even got to do one, uh, I got to do ring announcing for one show where I got to do both English and Spanish at the same time. <laughs> A little bit. A lot of fun. I choked. I remember one time I did a show. I choked. I choked at the guy's <laughs> name when I got on the mic and he had talked to his name. You know, I was like special announcer. I was like, uh, 
what is his name? Oh, shit. <laughs> Brain freeze, you know? Can't do it like Larry Legend does it, you know, with the... the oh, yeah. How Larry does it, you know? Shout out to Larry. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Larry, because today's his birthday also. You know, happy birthday, oh, Larry Legend. Birthday. Yes, the one and only. He's That's awesome. doing commentating on his... Actually, yeah, he's doing it all tonight <laughs> at combat. Really? Wow. Yeah. Combat zone. I think. Tomorrow, tomorrow's my wife's birthday. Well, ha stunt. happy birthday, Mama! Stunt. <laughs> yeah. So I almost you... got away without celebrating it. Uh oh. Yeah. The last week I was reminding her how old she's going to be, and mm -hmm. she's like, "Is that really next week?" I said, "It's it's Sunday," and she's like, "Crap! I totally forgot it was that close." And <laughs> you like, better take oh, care. Man, I shouldn't have reminded her. I didn't have to buy a present. No, just go out and enjoy the nice <laughs> dinner, and that's it. Take her out to yeah. a nice dinner, and that's it. Or tell Marco to take her out too. You know. There you go. <laughs> well, last year we last year we threw yeah. her a huge party. We yeah. had over fifty people show up, and mm. it was a surprise party. And yeah. She was caught off guard, but it was a lot of fun. And mm -hmm. um, this year we're we're not doing as much. This year's just uh, yeah, just take going it easy. Out to dinner, take, take it easy. <laughs> take it easy, kind of dinner. It's always best that way nowadays. You know, oh, yeah. you don't need the whole huge crowd to be embarrassing. Well, you could always have the Chichi, the Mexican guy, sing. There you go, <laughs> Chichis, or uh, you know, how yeah. you know, he, how many times we used to get away with that? Do, do, like you'd tell them it's your friend's birthday, and they would sing it just for fun. Go to a bar, a restaurant. Oh yeah, I used yeah, to. We've be, done that. Yeah, that's great. They don't expect it. I try not to go on my birthday, but yeah. I've made that mistake a couple of times, and I'll be sitting there watching them while they're singing, and just making sure I don't get that. Yeah, my dad, my dad does that. He'll, he'll, hey, all right, it's his birthday. What? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> but damn, no, surprise. No, you know. But so how long have they been both? Well, like you said, they were wrestling. They came out of high school, right? And they yeah, just. Yeah, uh, Marco started right after he graduated high school. He, we always thought he was going to be a singer. Mm -hmm. He, he yeah, I've seen some of those things. little, I've seen those little YouTubes of him singing or the clips of him singing. Yeah, <laughs> and he won some contests in high school and stuff. And yeah, even one time he went to a, he went to a battle of the bands, a local one here, uh -huh. and to support a friend of his, and he was, before it started, he was in there playing on a guitar. And the lady that ran the show walked by and heard him and said, Hey, we have some people drop out. Do you want to be in the show? And he ended up winning. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Like, okay. But he's, he really does. He's got a great ear for music and a great voice. And, mm -hmm. We just assumed that's what he that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to be a singer, and mm -hmm. his, his backup plan was to teach music uh, mm -hmm. if if all else failed. And he, but then he got into wrestling right after he graduated high school. Yeah. He went to a, he, he went to his local show, mm -hmm. and the guys told him they would be willing to train him. And he come home talking to me, and I thought the guys were just trying to take his money. To be mm -hmm. honest, yeah, they were like, "You pay us this much every time, and mm -hmm. you come help set up the ring and tear down the ring, and we'll train you." You know, that afternoon before the show, and and but I went and checked it out and said, "We'll we'll try it out." And I figured this is like a you know a little hobby he'll do for a few months and mm -hmm. he get tired of it. Yeah, and he, even though I've always loved wrestling, and he has yeah. too, but yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't really expect that to be honest. And then he mm -hmm. got in there, and they made him a. They let him referee a couple of matches, and they let him, they made him a manager. Mm -hmm. And um, the next, he finally got a match. And his first match actually was like three three and a half hours from here. Mm -hmm. And we drove in Jackson, Mississippi, or outside of Jackson, Mississippi. And we mm -hmm. drove down there and spent the night to be there for that. Mm -hmm. And then then he started working with this promotion up here that had been training him, and they started using him and. The crowd loved him, and he was doing great. And he and then he kind of had a falling out, and mm -hmm. he went for about a month or so without wrestling. He's like, I don't know where else to go because this company kept telling him, "Don't let him go anywhere else because we'll take care of him. Other people won't." Yeah, yeah. And and we didn't know any different. Yeah. And they also told us he'll never go beyond these small shows. Oh, he's, please. <laughs> he's yeah. too little. He yeah. just can't do it. And, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So and, uh, this other company, one of the guys that that had worked with him some down here. Mm -hmm. uh, was helping a company up in Tennessee and they called and wanted to know would he come to a match. And so we did, and it, it's about a two hour drive for us. And mm -hmm. we, we went up there and it, they do a weekly show. Yeah. And the next thing you know, we're doing that every week. Every and Saturday, then, 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 he, then he did try out shows for IWA Mid South. I'm sure he yeah. did eventually. Yeah. yeah at first he, he was just doing these local shows, didn't know yeah. any better. And then he started traveling a little bit and he came back and there was a new booker at the mm -hmm. show and the guy said, well, I'll let you come in and be a jobber if you want to. I'm not going to use you as, 
a real talent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm okay. And I mean, he just started traveling, and I, at first I was very skeptical because this is new to me, and I wasn't. Yeah. I never. I always watched wrestling, but I didn't know anything about behind the scenes. No, I, no, you don't know. We learn it. We learn it as we yeah. go. You know. And he, but he's traveling places with different people and riding with them, and uh -huh. and. They're helping him get in shows, and I'm like, all right. And I was learning who I could trust and not trust. Mm -hmm. and I mean, he's old enough now; he can do yes. his own. But I still, I'm yeah. bad. So yeah. And I was traveling with him all I could, and then next thing you know, he, I mean, he went and did some shows, several shows, where he just showed up and helped him set up the ring and tear it down, and didn't even get to wrestle, didn't make a dime. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm like, why are you driving that far, and you're not even wrestling? I got to do it to get noticed, Dad. And yeah, sure enough. Next thing you know, he's on the shows, and he's one of their most popular ones. That's he, good. yeah, because he has a character. He always had a character. Like his character was just great, you know. Yes, yeah. he had no real character, but he just could show that he could have fun in the ring, you know. Oh, I love going live to some place that's yes. It, back before he was known, when it was his first time there, <laughs> I go and sit in the crowd, mm -hmm. and everybody, as soon as he comes out, going, "What is this little guy?" But within about three minutes of the match, they're all cheering for him. <laughs> oh yeah, because he's because he's, he's doing a flippity flop, and he's going to hear, oh, yeah. and, you know. <laughs> I mean, well, you were there for Lost in New York. Yeah. It didn't take them long at all. Till he no, we, them we popped him. We popped him. I mean, I, we popped him because we wanted to have him, you know, come back. And look where he, you know, he came back and back. And people didn't realize this kid has something special, you know. He's got oh, it. Yeah. I mean, if, you know, if Game Changer can recognize him, you know, Cody could recognize him. Other companies could recognize him, you know. Come on. Yeah. And it was like, that was like his turning point, And we know that, you know. Like, he got the the real big big spotlight on you know game changer really paved the way for him also you know oh, it did big time he gives them a lot of credit they, they are brett they recognized him I they know. brought him in and i even asked uh, yeah. brett lauderdale and yeah. joey and, yeah one night we were we were all at a restaurant together and i asked him i said when y'all when y'all brought marco to new york mm -hmm. that first time did y'all really think he was going to blow up like that and they looked at each other both at the same time and said yeah we did <laughs> yeah and he did and then he got got by kept on coming back in Asbury Park, man, he blew up. You know, everybody yeah. loves him. He just loved. Hopefully, he'll come back eventually. You know, again. Oh yeah, he will. You he'll know. show up. Yeah, he, absolutely. He just, he's more than welcome. But he's got a. He's just got a. Yep. He has ch charisma. He yeah. has this ability to yeah. to get people mm -hmm. to like him, no matter what. I yeah. Mean, he's made for every his entire life. He's made friends everywhere we've gone. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he's just. I, I told the story the other day on uh, talking to some guys, but. Mm -hmm. He, we used to go, like, we could go to the beach yeah. on a vacation, and he'd spend two days with people he had never met, you know, and meet them out there on the beach, yeah. and they hang out for two days, and he still keeps track, he still keeps up with them to this day. They're still friends, mm -hmm. you know, and this was 10 years ago or more. Right. And it's just crazy. He just makes friends everywhere he goes. I, that's what I did when I remember when, I remember when Game Changer had their first show with uh, the, the Rejects, John Wayne Murdoch and, Hom mm -hmm. and Homeless Jimmy. And, uh, you know, Brett calls me, hey, you got room for these guys to stay at your house? I don't mind. Let them enjoy some time at the shore, you know? <laughs> Let them enjoy, like, you know, hospitality, you know, just relax, jump in a pool, have fun, you know? Because they're yeah. not used to that out, you know, in the Midwest, you know? Right. Like, so, yeah, we, we, you know, we all became good friends after that, it's, you know? Wrestling. That's cool. You meet good yeah, friends, yeah. you know, you meet good friends through wrestling. That's the way it yeah. is. And it's kind of crazy because I've yeah. watched as Marco has gone up the ladder, you know, and he's yeah. gone to more to ones that are more recognizable, that are better known, and all that. He every time he stepped up to the next level, it's like he gets treated a little better. He and, does. Yeah, it's like in these smaller shows, everybody was out for themselves. And I'm looking and, at you, looking at these new guys coming in, like this Mark, um, this Matthews Justice. Like, look, he's he could, oh, yeah. he could be the next. You know, we don't know. Uh, I love him though. He's, he, he's yeah, incredible. He, he's incredible. And, see, <laughs> he kind of blew my mind because I was watching him and knew yeah. who he was, and was watching him kind of come up and see. I watched some of his matches. Yeah, the first time I met him was in Nashville, mm -hmm. and I walk up to him at the show before the show started. I walk up and we introduce myself because I knew who he was. And I said, yeah. "Hey, you, we've never met, but I am." And before I could get it out, he goes, "You're Papa Stunt." And I'm like, <laughs> <What>? "Okay, <laughs> all right, cool, <laughs> thanks." <laughs> I didn't know you knew me, but cool. <laughs> yeah, no, he's really he, that guy's come a long way. He's got something. He, he just won some titles. I just saw something for AIW. A, a, you know, right? 
No, he's very, very good. He's kind of crazy, too. He's an evil Knievel, I know. (laughs) He's an evil Knievel. There's a lot of those evil Knievels out there. Not like like Alex Zane, right? (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Think about it. Alex was another one that got recognized by GCW, which is the top overnight. I know. He's in Japan right now still, you know? Yeah, he is. He's over there till January. Till January. He's eating a lot of tacos over there, too. (laughs) Yeah. I saw that. <laughs> he's great though I love Alex and we, we, yeah. we feel like we've become friends with these guys and mm-hmm. he yeah he but he you know his first show was the backyard show yeah and he when he did that when he did that stinking flip out of the ring mm-hmm. oh my goodness it, yeah. it, it just blew up and all of a sudden next thing you know he's all over and he was talking about quitting wrestling before yeah that. I know I know and that's like wow don't do that you got something going man oh man he's good he's very good it's He's fun to watch. He is. He is. And that was, now, the Backyard Show was one that my wife absolutely hates. She yeah. She refuses to watch again. Really? And I, but my you, boys in that show yes, went showed, against each other. And had fun. I know. It was a, it was a battle. They, they, they were brutal. They were brutal. It was a, you know, that was a talked about match, too, you know? That, that was like a talk about match on the internet. Why are these guys doing that? <laughs> they yeah, Logan, well, Logan is. Yeah, he's, Logan likes the deathmatch stuff a lot. You a lot could more tell. Than, you, than Marco. Could, you could tell. You could tell. Yeah. And, you know. And he wants to. He. The only thing with Logan, I, and, yeah. and I'm super proud of Logan and how far he's come in such mm-hmm. a short time. Because he, you know, he's a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. He mm-hmm. was. He was actually teaching Taekwondo up until a few months ago. Yeah. And very good at it. He's great at teaching these kids. Mm-hmm. They love him to death, and he does some amazing things in there. And I, I love watching him do it. Mm-hmm. And when he got into wrestling, I wasn't real sure how, you know, how he was going to adapt. But he yeah. he just hit the floor, hit the ground running, and has done amazing. Um, I'm very very proud of him. But he does he he kind of likes the D- yeah the D- crazy spots. Yes, yes. And so we're always trying to talk to him about be smart. Be yes, smart. <laughs> gotta, gotta be smart. You know he knows. Because if you he, get hurt, it doesn't do you any good. You won't be able to continue. You don't you don't <laughs> want to be in a hospital for a couple of days and not think about what you happen. You know. <laughs> yeah, you really don't. It's not fun. I, when Marco broke his leg, yeah, I had to fly out to L.A. And be I was going to say yeah, you had to be out there and like ugh. You're like you. This yeah. this news I don't want to hear. You know, I'm watching. We're watching TV. I watched that. I'm like, oh my gosh. Here we oh go. yeah, we were watching live, and yeah. we didn't. You know, on the live stream, you couldn't see it happen. No, no, they were over in the crowd. And yeah. So, but we knew something was wrong when they got back in the crowd. Yeah. When they got back in the ring, and they announced that he had, that mm-hmm. um, what's his name had won. Yeah. Ever fly had won. I'm like, are you? Are, Wait a minute! What is going on? Yeah, and, but then you see, and then, yeah, then you co- heard the announcer call for Brett and them to come to the ringside immediately, and I'm like, yes. "Oh crap!" So we're on. like freaking out, we're yeah. trying to figure out what's going on, and finally, people start messaging us, and I was able to talk to Brett, mm-hmm. and I thought, of course, Joey was in New York because he was hurt. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know from his his injury. He's, right, and so he, he was he was like tweeting on there saying, somebody tell me what's going on with Marco, and, mm-hmm. and I'm like, me too, and so, but we got to talk to Joey, and we got to talk to Brett, and they yeah. finally got me on the phone with Marco, and he was, but he was in so much pain, he's like, Dad, I don't want to talk right now, I'm like, okay, I understand, Yeah, I just had to make sure, you I'll just be on the next flight out, okay, yeah, and that's, well, that happened late, late Friday night, and then it <laughs> yeah. was, they said they were going to do surgery Saturday, then they postponed it to Sunday, and I ended up flying out Sunday and getting yeah. there that evening. Yeah. But, and then we flew home Wednesday night late. We got home late Wednesday night, which was the day before Thanksgiving. Yeah. It was kind of crazy, but I'm like, man, that's what somebody messaged me today saying they were on their way to see Logan wrestle. Do I, do I have a message for him? I said, tell him to be careful because I don't need to fly to Seattle right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I saw that. Somebody tweeted that. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. wait. But no, you, uh, no, you trust them. He is, he's gonna be. He's all right. He's enjoying himself, and he has friends there too. So you know, he like, does. He's there. He's there with some good guys. Effie's there with him. Oh my god, <laughs> he's, with, <laughs> he's, he's with Daddy. Watch out! <laughs> yeah, but Logan loves Effie, man. They they oh. become like good friends. They, oh man, and Effie is so cool. He, you know, when we've gotten to hang Logan, out with him, better not a, Logan better not pack the lube. That's all I can say. <laughs> Right, I'm sure you probably had a lot. I'm sure yeah. you got him going too, you know, with him oh on gosh. his gimmicks. These guys with those gimmicks are just funny, though. We love it, you know. Oh, oh if he's a great guy, he, he is. is. He, I need to get him. Huh? On. I got to get get him on my podcast. He would be a blast. He, I'm gonna. Have to he talk. would be. He would be hilarious. 
and Logan too, of course. I gotta get Logan on. <laughs> you gotta tell you Logan to get on here with me. He'd love it. I hate that in a heartbeat. I know. He would love to. I think I shouted it out a while back, but he was just busy probably with the Game Changer show that one time. You know. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm sure we. I'm sure we could work that out. Yeah. Yeah. Ah oh, man. So growing growing up wrestling, what, what what were your favorite memories like as a kid yourself? Well, see, yeah, how I grew you, up. Well, yeah. I grew up just outside. We live in Olive Branch, Mississippi, and I yeah. I grew up here. And then it was a very small. This is right outside of Memphis, Tennessee. When mm -hmm. I when I graduated high school, there was less than four thousand people in the city, and now there's I think it's like thirty five or thirty eight thousand. It's a mm -hmm. it's grown tremendously over the last several years. But Memphis, yeah, I grew up with Memphis wrestling. Jerry Lawler, Bill Dundee, mm -hmm. uh, all these guys back in the in in the days when they were yeah yeah when when they had the uh, I've been to Memphis. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, yeah, and that's what I grew up with. So I grew up every Saturday morning mm -hmm. watching wrestling on TV at eleven o'clock Saturday morning, yeah. and they did studio wrestling there. And then, and I got to go to that several times. And then we, mm -hmm. they every Monday night did the Mid South Coliseum, which back then was not on TV. They would just show clips of it on Saturday morning, and right. you know, and they would travel. They would do, mm -hmm. you know, they would do Memphis on, um, yeah, Memphis on Monday night, and they would be somewhere else on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then do the, the studio show on yeah on saturday and so that's what i grew up with it was it was guys like dutch mantel and jerry lawler bill dundee austin idol mm -hmm. the fabulous ones yeah rock and roll express yes i love them still they, these guys they are know, still going they, Can you blowing it away, they, they are still going it's unbelievable like i'm yeah, shocked they, like it's like they kind of yeah. They kind of went off the radar for a while, and all of a sudden they came back, and they're doing some crazy D stuff. Man. Crazy stuff, calling guys out on that NWA show and <laughs> or whatever, you know, like that. They, they were on AEW. Went, yes, <laughs> yes. They did, I mean, they've done Game Changer kind of Wrestling, come on. They've yes, been everywhere. They did. Like, it was crazy. And that was actually one of my, when, when they started getting back on the scene like that and yeah. going to some places, yeah. my hope was that, the stunt doubles, Logan yeah. and Marco, yeah. were going to go against them at some point, but then then Marco got signed, and mm -hmm. he was like, "Ah, that's not going to happen." <laughs> yeah, legends. I know, true wrestling le you know, tag team. Come on. Yeah, they were one of my favorites, you know, when I was younger, and and so yeah. that's the kind of stuff I grew up on is the Memphis, and to be honest, and then I of course got into the WWF. And, yes. And then during the Monday Night Wars of WCW and WWF, that was. In my opinion, one of the best eras of wrestling ever. I yeah. think they, those guys were so out to defeat the others that they put on some great stuff. Well, I always tell people, you know, I always go on my podcast, and I'm sure you've heard it before. I always said, I always mention Iron Mike Sharp, and, oh, yeah. and he ran our school in my hometown. He ran the okay. Iron Mike Sharp's gym, you know, wrestling school for like five bucks. I'd go watch him and uh, Classy Freddie Blassie would be there, and uh, you know Nova from ECW. And a couple of other guys like X Pac from as the one two three kid, you know, like just, wow. I know, isn't it cool. like? And then like the wall from WCW, it's like wow, these guys are gonna get noticed really quick, you know. Yeah. And they did because uh, there was a promotion his brother ran, uh, Nova's brother ran a promotion in the next town over. It was called Phoenix Championship Wrestling, which was like a real, you know, it was the indie of indies. It had Samoa Joe to, you know, Carino to, you name it. You know, these were the guys, AJ Styles, you know, uh, Daniels, everybody just launching it, you know? Yeah. Just getting there. Awesome. I know, mid-90s. I, well, I didn't really get into indie wrestling, yeah. to be honest, until Marco got into indie wrestling. Yeah. And he's the one that introduced me to it and started mm -hmm. watching all these different promotions and stuff and i started traveling around with him to different ones and then yeah. we started watching stuff on different streaming services and stuff. <laughs> yeah and he's the one that got me into it because i didn't i mean i followed like i said back in the day when yeah. the Monday night wars were going on marco was a little bit kid and he mm -hmm. was and i used to watch that and i'd be sitting there flipping back and forth between the two because we didn't have dvrs back then. no we never yeah i know <laughs> i know we didn't have all that high-tech gadgets <laughs> <laughs> now you can watch them both and then <laughs> you can watch it everywhere but, yeah yeah but it was but i loved it and he and he got into it back then as a kid and then i kind of went through a phase where i didn't watch it as much and then mm -hmm. i got back into it again and but that was yeah that was my stuff back then and he but then marco's the one that got me on the indie and i became and when he got me into indie wrestling a couple of years ago really was it mm -hmm. about two or three years ago yeah and when that happened i was 
I was blown away because I'm like, man, there's some good stuff going on. There really, places. there is. I mean, there's a lot of promotions that we, re- you know, when we're younger, like we didn't realize, like this is in our area. <laughs> like, yeah, like we had wrestling group. Like, like as a kid, I didn't realize I got lucky enough. Like, and I, I have to always talk about this. Me and my dad went to a local, local wrestling at a at a ice palace, and Bruiser Brody was inside a steel cage versus Chief J Strongbow. You know, like. I got to see early, you know, like the Fantastics, uh, oh, yeah. d- like even uh, Dave <laughs> Schultz. Come on, you know, like that's, that's awesome. Isn't yeah. that crazy? Like even Abdullah, but I I had to go home because it's a school night. I missed <laughs> I missed him, you know. But now to, yeah. to see the, all those guys, it's like wow. Wendy Wendy Richter, like holy cow! I didn't, you know, like my God, it was an era of wrestling, you know. Oh yeah, it, yeah, it, 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 it's amazing. It's so much fun. It is. It, and that's what, like, well, when we were at the Nashville show, yeah, we were it, during the, I guess it was during one of the dark matches, I think. Yeah. But anyway, Marco came up and surprised us and sat in the stands with us for a second. Right. And he, he's like, Shh, be quiet, don't, don't, I don't want much attention. I'm like, all right. So we're just sitting there talking to him. And these guys in front of us, all these people in front of us are looking back at him going, that's Marco, that's Marco. <laughs> but they weren't saying it. They were being respectful. Yeah. Well, Jerry Lynn walked up. Mm-hmm. And Jerry Lynn walks up and calls us by name. And we've met him a couple of times yeah. and everything. But, you know, it's still, it's like, I'm talking to Jerry Lynn. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, speaking of Jerry Lynn, he just had his procedure. Did you see he that? Did. So it he's, went well. Yeah, he said it came out well. Yeah. yeah. I got a yeah, tweet, he, tweet back from him, so wishing him, you know, good luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he's a great guy. He really he was, is. He come up talking to us for a minute, and then he, there at the end, he's like, hey, Marco, would you mind taking a picture with my daughter? And I kind of popped. I'm like, Jerry, your daughter wants to take a picture with my son. That's kind of crazy to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Logan's getting on to me going, Dad, you're such a mark. I said, I know I am. Jerry's, Jerry's popular, guys, man. You don't know this, kids. Oh, yeah. Jerry. Well, the guys in front of me are going, we're kind of marking out, too. That's Jerry Lynn. <laughs> yeah, and you're, like, realizing, man, ECW, like a legend here. This is guys who made oh, yeah. history, you know? And I think he's one of the most underrated mm-hmm. guys out mm-hmm. there. He was incredible. Yeah, he does a podcast, too, now. It's amazing. Yeah. He does a lot oh, of, yeah. he does one still with Whiprock, I think, I believe, you know? Right. Yeah, he, he's great. He's a really good guy. Nice too. person. Nicest person to talk to and at a fresh show or something. He used to come to that promotion all the time, too. He was always welcome when I was talking about Phoenix Championship. <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, that's how it is. It's like we yeah. have, and we still haven't gotten to meet several of the guys there. We got to, mm-hmm. we, like, we didn't go backstage at Nashville. We did yeah. go backstage at All Out, but mm-hmm. we didn't get to meet everybody. We got to meet some guys. And, yeah. Uh, Starcast. I'll tell you what. From the Starcast. Starcast. You can. Oh, it's like a convention. It's like a nonstop wrestler after wrestler. Oh. You know. Like and, yeah, and that was so much fun for us because we didn't. The yeah. only one we've been to was the one for All Out. Yeah. And so we went to that Starcast. The boys, of course. Well, Marco went to the first one at All In. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I was like, man, I really want to go with you. And he's like, at this point, he had just blown, he had just gotten noticed. You I know. know. And I lost know. to New York. And he's like, Dad, I don't know if I can take anybody. I don't know what to expect. I don't think anybody needs to go with me. I'm like, okay, just go. <laughs> and so we had a watch party here and had yeah. over, I think it was around 60 people here watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, but then the next one, I yeah. can't remember, what, oh, in Vegas. Yes. Logan went. Yeah. And. He just had a blast. It was so much fun. And yeah. I, we didn't get to go. So the one in Chicago, the next one in Chicago for All Out, we're like, we're going. Yeah, you better and it was kind of crazy yeah. for yeah. me because yeah. I'm just... I'm just a guy from Mississippi. Just looking at all these people and like all these wrestlers like you grew up with. <laughs> it's like Oh yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, yeah. I just got to go up and meet them and say hi to them and yeah. and what killed me is I would I would I think I embarrass my boys sometimes, but I would be like, I'm Marco's dad. Yeah. And as soon as I as soon as I would say that it would change the conversation and they'd be like, oh, Really? I'm like, These guys know who Marco is. They know my son. <laughs> right. <laughs> these are guys that I'm a fan of and I think, and they know my son. And, which that's the thing, like Marco yeah. when he went to All In, yeah. the first one, he he called me that afternoon, the day of All In, right. and he's like, "Dad, I just left the locker room. Bully Ray is treating me like I'm one of the guys." Uh, <laughs> Bully Ray, yeah, he's he's another one doesn't doesn't he's a I used to saw, read something on that like a top ten wrestlers that are not nice to meet, <laughs> you know? Really? Yeah, but he so, loves Marco. Yeah. 
I don't know why. He yeah, I guess he, he treated could, Marco great. Nah, and, he, he's so, okay. I mean, his, and Tommy Dreamer has like really been putting Marco over, and mm-hmm. I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> I text. I texted. <laughs> I, there was, I there remember were people I, going off about Marco on yeah. Twitter, and Tommy Dreamer's like, if you got a problem with Marco, you got a problem with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember I texted him, hey, Tommy, do you want to do a podcast? No, sorry, I'm I'm contracted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, sorry. Yeah. Kick it all these guys. Marco's going to be at his show next weekend. Huh? Marco's going to be at Tommy's show next weekend, next Saturday. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. going to be good. Yeah, it should be. Um, Luchasaurus will be there as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he just got off an of injury, too. <laughs> like, yep. ew, everybody's getting injured these days. <laughs> Uh, it, it, it's not hard to do it with all the stuff they do. I know, I know. They just have to watch what they do and you know get their, you know do the routine, and go to the gym and this and that, you know. But that was kind of the thing for Marco. I mm-hmm. think Marco was. It's it's crazy because Marco went to Lost in New York because somebody else got injured. Mm-hmm. He was actually scheduled to be at the next show yeah. in New Jersey, which wasn't as big a show. No, and no. Somebody got, I don't remember who it was now, but somebody got injured and they brought him in mm-hmm. and did the thing with KTB. Mm-hmm. And then the same, what was it? Um, he ended up being in Bola last year because yes. somebody got injured and he just happened to be in LA. Yeah, that, I was going to say, yeah, he got lucky for that one. Like, that's a, yeah. that's a good promotion to really you know get noticed oh, yeah, too. It, was, it was huge he was like because he was actually scheduled two other places that weekend mm-hmm. he was supposed to fly in and do bar wrestling mm-hmm. and then fly back to two other states and had other matches oh and, wasn't that the one with that was the one with tony deppin wasn't it i think yes yeah yeah, yeah cause there's yeah. another there's another one that we should say like needs to get noticed you know oh, tony, i tell tony all the time tony's always yeah. making comments about it i tell him all the time he's gonna get signed he is so good yes yeah Tony makes everybody look. Everybody he's in the ring with, he makes them look good. He does. He's just come back from wherever he's been. He's been everywhere lately. Like he's just. Oh, doing, yeah. he, he needs to, you know. He, he yeah. He tra- he goes all over the place now, and he's he's doing great. He I, is, I love watching Tony and his. his now, he did a he did a match against Marco where he like blew the snot on him, and yes. my wife didn't like it at that <laughs> yeah. point. But the snot, <laughs> snot rocket man, <laughs> snot rocket man. Yeah, we know all about that. <laughs> but he did but he's I love Tony yeah. uh, and we got to meet his wife and hang out with her she's yeah. awesome yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just they're they're great people. But he, yeah, I agree. Tony is one of those that needs to be recognized. He needs to be yeah. somewhere because he's got a lot of talent and he knows how. He, he's a great heel. Yeah, I know. He, he really he, is. He can he can he can definitely show it. Like he could go against like, Christopher Daniels. So come on, like you oh know, yeah, he could. I mean, or like. You know, whatever, Every, all the guys, even Marco on TV. Come on, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he's good. I, I love Tony. He, I think he's one that needs to be signed. He'll get there. They're all going to get there. We know that names are being checked off the list day by day. I'm sure, you know. Yeah, but it just when well, it's all about timing, being in the right spot, right time. I mean, I told Marco that for a mm-hmm. long time because I told him. I knew he had the charisma. I yeah. knew he had the talent. Mm-hmm. I said, it's just about you getting in front of the right people. And that's kind of what happened is mm-hmm. Brett and them noticed him on some show, and they brought him up to New York. And yeah. had, he should have been in New Jersey a month later, but he was in New York for this one, yes. which got him noticed by Cody Rhodes mm-hmm. and the Young Bucks, which got him on All In, which got him all over the country yeah. and eventually signed. But it's it's about, you know, there are a lot of talented guys out there that don't ever quite make it. No. Just just, and just and keep your heads up, that, you know. Just that, keep the head up, and you know. Yeah, just keep going because it, it is. It's about timing and opportunity a lot of times. Mm-hmm. And then you get your t-shirt lines, and you get all this stuff, merchandise. It's crazy, you know. Yeah. You, oh yeah. You get a lot of deals out of it, you know. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's a crazy world. But you're enjoying it as a dad, you know. You're enjoying the life, oh. you know. You're just enjoying it. You get. You I'm get, having so much fun. It, 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 yeah. Like it's, I was loving. I hadn't gotten to go to as many shows lately as I used to. There yeah. for a while, we were traveling almost every weekend with mm-hmm. them mm-hmm. as much as we could. Especially after after uh, Marco got hurt. Yeah, um, he couldn't drive for quite a while, no, and so no. he still wanted to go to the shows and just oh, yeah. be there, even if he couldn't be in them. Oh. And we would. 
And then Logan started wrestling. So we were like almost every weekend driving them places just to be able to go with them. Mm-hmm. And it was so much fun. I was having a blast. Mm-hmm. And now and it's, still, now it's now like, I'm having to watch them on TV. <laughs> yeah, it's, 20, it's t- almost 2020, you know, and he's already has a future. Isn't it amazing? Oh, yeah. He's already, it's crazy. It's going to be, it's a long ride for him. But, you know, we're gonna, we're we support him, you know, and we're proud of him, you know. And, I appreciate it. You know, and next time I see you at, at GCW, we'll say hello. And, you know. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. You know. Oh, it's great. It's Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to everything. I mean, I'm, I'm excited for yeah. Marco and what he's getting to do. I really believe Logan has a bright future in this business. He's, yeah. He's showing his stuff. He's I think he's a different type of wrestler than Marco. Yeah. But, but, but his... He advanced so quickly. His very first match was a scramble mm. in Chattanooga, mm-hmm. uh, and it was. And I didn't know what to expect, but I was so impressed with how well he did for his very first match. And it was, and then he went on to another match, another, and every time it's mm-hmm. like he just keeps getting better and better, and it, it blows me away. It does. Um, he's he's got something special. He really has a good understanding of what needs to be done, and mm-hmm. he's learning all the time, which Marco spends a lot of time with him, and they, they talk a lot about what needs to be done. And uh-huh. uh, Of course, Marco is harder on his brother than he is everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, brothers are brothers, you know that. The, the, exactly. You know, I don't have any brothers. I have sisters, so. <laughs> Older sisters. Uh, you know. i got two sisters and a brother, and that's <laughs> we can be pretty rough on each other. <laughs> and I, could be, I could be rough on my nieces and nephews, but that's about it. They're great kids. Yeah. You know, we're looking glad to be you know part of their lives you know oh yeah no if, it doubt. if it wasn't for wrestling where would they be right <laughs> exactly <laughs> they'd be sitting on a sideline right like at a sports event you know that's and, it man you know? it's, it's i was gonna say world. i was gonna say did they play any sports when they were they were they were growing up like baseball or, uh, or football or res- played wrestling, one year wrestling, or little league or wrestling baseball. you know of course. they didn't get into our where we grew up where they grew up yeah. there wasn't Wrestling was not a big thing. School, high school wrestling yes. was not a big thing. But yeah. they, which we've lived several places actually. We've moved a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, we've actually lived. I grew up in Mississippi. And that's where we're back now. But we've lived in Arkansas, Mississippi, Indiana, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, mm-hmm. um, and so it's it's been kind of a crazy life. But yeah, um, when they were. Marco played one year of little league and he did pretty well, but he's he has ADHD real bad and mm-hmm. he um, he again was so small every every age he looked like he was you know four or five years younger than everybody else mm-hmm. and so <laughs> like it, but he played soccer he was actually really good at soccer yeah. uh, and and um, Logan played soccer as well mm-hmm. they both did really well at it. Uh, Marco was a little more into it than, than Logan was, but mm. Marco did that. When we lived in Nicaragua, mm. Marco actually played basketball a little bit. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was kind of crazy because he was so short. Yeah, but they 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 both they both have a very natural athletic ability. They mm. just um, we moved around so much that they didn't ever really stick with every with anything mm. very long until they got into wrestling. Yeah. Like, and both of them are great singers. Yeah, like um, you said. <laughs> Real talented. And, yeah, they, they and well, they never made it to, Marco, they never made it, well, well, Marco never made it to American Idol, so. <laughs> he did try out, so he oh, didn't make oh, it. Yeah, he did? He did, he oh, did. He tried, he tried out for The Voice and American Idol, and he didn't make it on the other Oh, no. But, uh, oh, he, no. uh, but he's got, there, there's just something special about him. He he has a, mm-hmm. like I said, he's got a charisma about him that draws people in. But he did get to play with 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 uh, Weedus for that he one. Did. <laughs> he did. He was. That's, that's, that's crazy. It. I was watching that. I got a kick out of that when Nate would just let hand him the microphone. And here you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was up there at Lost yeah. in New York before before the show. Before anybody was let in, they were yeah. up there practicing, and he got on. He got on the stage with them, was singing, and I was just yeah. like, I can't believe this. Yeah. But he. <laughs> I know, and then you see that other show in California, the recent one where he's singing with Nate oh, Grant. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yep. yeah. yeah, there's Marco sing- doing it up again, <coughs> singing, you know, just having yep. a good, to- good time. He's just having a good time. He always does, you know. He, yeah, he does. I mean, if you look, kid, I mean, I mean, look at what's going on. Like you, know, you I'm get, we're getting, I'm, we're all getting. I'm, I'm sure you're getting a kick of, of, uh, you know, Sammy taking the. Uh, him running off with a camera, you know, Sammy Guevara's camera. Oh, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great little thing going until he gets his ass beat, you know. Yeah, that's, well, that's, 
There's actually been several people. And, I've, yeah. I, I'm on on Facebook. I'm on a yeah. AEW page or yeah. whatever. And there's certain guys that just constantly go off about Marco, Marco and can't stand him. And mm-hmm. and I try to I try to keep it to myself most time. But every once in a while, I'll make a comment. They don't know I'm his dad. So no, no, no. Yeah. But but uh, but on every one of those. Videos. Every one of those chats that are going yeah. on or whatever it is, people, somebody will always comment about how funny he is on Sammy Guerrero's um, vlog. <laughs> yeah. So you know what? You know what Mark needs to do. I think is get himself a vlog going. <laughs> and, well, he tr- he started that at yeah. one point. He, he said he was going to do it, but then it, but he didn't really learn how to edit it well enough and get yeah. it out there. His his problem is he's got ADHD. Real bad. Yes. Yeah. And, and he would forget to get his camera out and film certain things. And then when he would get home, he would take several days before he would work on it. He's got to do it immediately. Right, right. Or he, or he ends up forgetting. And yeah. But, yeah, he, he actually does pretty good at putting together videos. If you saw, yeah, like, for instance, if you saw the, the promo he did when he went against Rich Swan mm-hmm. at ICW. Yeah. That was, in my opinion, was a great promo. And he, you know, that was all his idea. I helped him film it but he's the one that put it all together and mm-hmm. edited it and everything and he has the ability but he said he, he said he actually wants to ask sammy to help him learn how to do that better or maybe he, do i'm sure he, yeah i'm sure he could do that you know it doesn't take talk it's it's not hard <laughs> you know right everything takes training like podcasting it takes training <laughs> you know exactly like, and discipline <laughs> yeah discipline well you could discipline your kids <laughs> exactly you gotta well, got take the time to make yourself do it and yeah i think mm-hmm. like, that's the thing with Sammy is he everywhere he goes he just he always remembers to get his camera out. He know? does. He does. <laughs> Same thing with like Ethan Page. Ethan Page always. Oh my God, Ethan! Talk about man. He does like the hugest everywhere. He's like he gets it all perfect. You know, just to oh, yeah. just to make sure. You know, it's it's perfect. I, yeah, I love watching his. They're they're great. I mean, he's a great wrestler. Also, you know, look at him. He he's, is. He really. I love it. And he is one of the best guys out there. Y- yeah. He really is. I mean, him and just Sammy Callahan. No, no matter what, any of these guys are great. We know that. You know, Sammy Callahan. I love Sammy. Yeah, and and I've loved Sammy for a long time before I ever knew him. Or met, and I've only met him a couple of times. But Sammy, mm-hmm. right at the weekend of actually the weekend of Lost in New York, we were driving. We drove to New York. And yeah. Back. And driving back from New York, Marco gets a message telling him to come to a. Uh, impact taping they were doing in uh, Knoxville Yeah, because we were driving through there and so we stop off and he was like freaking out because they just walk us right in Yeah, and then Sammy took him to they like took him to the back to meet her and he's like I can go to the back they're going you're Marco Stunt you can go where you want and <laughs> he was freaking out he's like what and it's that like was the, my first time to meet Sammy. Yeah. But Sammy immediately signed him up for his show uh-huh. out in, in, in um, is it Iowa? Idaho? Rock, Iowa. Rockstar Pro or something? Probably. Yeah. yeah, and he brought him out there and he and put him again, and it was uh, yeah against Ace Romero. Mm-hmm. And but that was the thing. He and Sammy got up there in the ring at the end of that thing because you got something special, kid. <laughs> right. Oh. And and he was supposed to be back there again and broke his leg. He was actually <laughs> he was actually going to be going against um, mm-hmm. uh, Brian Cage, I think it was. Mm-hmm. And he, he broke his leg and didn't get to do it. But he, yeah, I mean, Sammy's been great. He's he was so helpful with Marco yeah. in the beginning and giving him advice. And re, he, he was one of the first ones to book Marco after Lost in New York and say, mm-hmm. "Man, I gotta get you. You're fixing to blow up." Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. I'm sure he's trying to. Yeah, Rockstar Pro. You know, that's a big promotion too. Uh, and they don't get noticed. It is. You notice they don't get noticed. I don't. They don't hear much about them that as much now. It's quite a quiet. Yeah, I don't. I don't either. I don't think he's doing. He's running quite as regular. To be yeah. honest. because I remember uh, they. I mean they. I remember they brought in H two O, you know, from Jersey. They brought right, in the right. Hardcore Hustle to do a show, and they tore it up. You know. Yeah. But yeah. Sammy's great. He's, he, Sammy, he, really, he's, he, he's, he does he's, his characters. <laughs> oh, he, I know. He just gets to go and just like, all right, you know. It's like him. Yeah. It's like him and Troy, uh, Trevor, and you know all the guys or all the guys. You know, oh yeah. Oh, Wince. You know Zachary, and you know just all the boys. Are, mm-hmm. They're all good. They're, hell, they're all OB. You know the Christ brothers. You know. Oh yeah, Chris brothers. It is great. You know, there's so many names we can keep on going. <laughs> like, <laughs> but well, there, that's the thing. There's a lot of really, really good guys out there. Mm-hmm. And they're getting they're on TV every week. <laughs> so a lot of these yeah. guys are on contract by what TNA and a yeah, and, 
It's absolutely nuts to, if you think about how mm-hmm. much, if you're a wrestling fan, yeah. you have more opportunity right now to watch stuff and see really good content than you've ever had. Yeah, like I mean, like early stuff too. And, pe- and people don't realize that the early stuff is where it starts, you know? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, I mean like a house show. Like TNA used to do a Raw way ra- at the Raw Way Rec Center, they'd be like TNA house show, like two weeks, right. you know, every two weeks. Hell, that I'll never forget the time that that um, uh, what was it um, Jeff Jarrett and Vince Russo were part of this company. It was called Cyberspace Wrestling. It was like a promotion. They came out for Jersey all the time, you know. I didn't know that one. Yeah, yeah. Ron Killings and uh, what is it? Um, oh, America's Most Wanted. Those guys, Chase Stevens. And wow, okay. Yeah, they used to be out here. They'd cause shit and, you know. <laughs> they promote. See, we did a, yeah. there was a show down here in Mississippi we did once a month. I was ring announcer and mm-hmm. Marco was one of their regulars and Chase Stevens was one of their regulars. Mm-hmm. He's, he, I, I enjoy watching him. He does yeah. a really good job. Yeah. I think I've had him on, actually, I've had him on a podcast. <laughs> He's a real nice guy. He's cool. Yeah, yeah, he is. But anyway, let's call it a night, huh? Man. All right, man. What else do you got? Nothing. Your son. Let's just <laughs> let's just keep on pushing for your son this weekend. You, you, you know. Both yeah, lo, yeah. Logan's in both? Seattle right now. He's doing, like I said, he's doing three different promotions up there this weekend. He had one last night. He's already had one this afternoon. And then Wombat. And I, I got I got a couple of messages telling me that he did fantastic today. Good. And he's oh, got good. one again tomorrow. Good, good, good. Um, good. And he'll be he'll be back home Monday. Um, yeah, and then the, then the Wombat show. Uh, that's yeah, Wombat good. is next weekend, and then GCW has their Nashville show Sunday. Mm-hmm. Wombat is Saturday night, and GCW in Nashville is Sunday. They just, so, GCW keeps on pushing. That's all I say. They're, oh, GCW is. I, I know. They, if, if there was an award for the, for the most, the 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 most, I don't know what the right word is, but run. the best indie show out there right now, or the one that's getting doing the most, they it, would get it. They I mean, would. It's they do because it's crazy. They, it's crazy. I mean, they're. I don't know if Brett gets any sleep or not. <laughs> I don't, either, I don't know how he does it because they're too, everywhere. He, they everywhere. travel all over. They're going back to Japan again. I know. It's and like, he, and, I, I, it's I, like, I mean, Brett has such an eye for talent. He does. He does. It's incredible. He's going to go down in the history books as one of the best promoters out there mm-hmm. eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, he, I, I have so much respect for them, and they, they've treated my boys so well. And he's, they, they he's one of our good Mark friends. He's one of our you know good I mean? friends. So yeah. Shout I mean, when Brett. they when Marco got hurt in in L.A. Yeah, yeah, you know, they they know what Brett made sure that they took care of his flight. There was the opportunity to do a really really cheap flight, but it was going to be a red eye. And I'm like, mm. but yeah, he's he's in a yeah. You know, he just had surgery. I'm like, I just don't know if he can make that. Yeah, and they're like, he's like, all right, don't worry about it. We'll get him a good flight. And they, <laughs> and they, you know, they we'll they, they said up. we're going to take care of Marco. Whatever it takes, we want to take care of. Absolutely, him. So they did. And, and it was. They uh, they have treated him so well mm-hmm. and uh, and just made him part of the family. And I have a ton of respect for all the guys at GCW. So you'll probably see you'll probably see Brett too there at the Wombat show. <laughs> oh yeah, he'll be there. Oh, yeah, he'll man. be at Wombat and, and GCW Nashville, no doubt. Yeah, Nashville show. I wish I could go. It's so hard for Jersey people to fly every week, you know. Oh yeah, no doubt. <laughs> and that's the, well, y'all were used to having GCW up there all the time, and no. now they're all over the country, all over the world. <laughs> I know they are. I mean, my big vacations run out, you know? <laughs> exactly. So I have my Christmas vacation, right? <laughs> exactly. I would, I, I would love to go to all the Because I'm, gar- I'm a garbage man by day, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a public works guy, you know, 19 years yeah. nineteen years in. So. Oh, wow, that's awesome. It is. It is. And my friend calls me and says, hey, you know what? I got a pick today. You want to come on my truck? I guess I'm going to be on that truck with him. <laughs> I do a school route, which is easy. You know, bulk and oh, okay. pick up the dumpsters and, yeah, do bulk. Yeah. Come home at two thirty. That's it. You know, day's wow. over. Day is over. Well, that would be nice. So wake up, wake up <laughs> at six in the morning. Yeah. Well, that's man. Well, I'm up at six every morning. I'm usually at work no later than seven thirty, and mm-hmm. I usually leave there between five and five thirty every day. Yeah, so but I got to go across town, so. <laughs> yeah. You know, do where the dope is, but hey. This, let's do this again after the holidays. How's that? Hey man, I've really enjoyed it. I appreciate you having me on, man. You're more than welcome. And yeah, put the bug in uh, Logan's ear, right? <laughs> I will. I'll talk to him. He's gonna, we're going to see him Monday for sure because tomorrow is his mom's birthday. So yes. 
we're going to all get together Monday for that because mm -hmm. he's not here tomorrow. And tell Marco I said hello again, so he'll be like, I'll yeah, do it, man. Dave says hello, you know. Yeah, I'll let him know. I, I was telling him that I was going to be doing your show, and he said that was cool. So. Yeah, <laughs> it is cool because it was like, I remember I first had him on. I was like, wow, I totally forgot I had your son on. <laughs> yeah. That was way back before you even got noticed, you know. Right. Right. That was a good That's way to push cool. it. But no, he does his thing and he's having a good time and Logan's doing his thing, you know. You just wanna you don't want to help you push your boys to where they are today, you know? And there's oh, yeah. and we support wrestling as you know, independent wrestling is is well, we support all wrestling, so no matter yeah. what. You know. Well I appreciate it very much, man. I appreciate Absolutely. The, the support and, and like I said, I am I'm super proud of my two boys. And I'll, if uh, anybody if anybody listening hadn't watched them, go look up Marco Stunt and Logan Stunt. Yeah, catch them on the internet, catch them fight T V. Jeez, you can catch them everywhere yeah, now. Yeah. You, we, you, you know. can find Marco on Fight T V, on independent wrestling T V, on uh, what's the other one? Out, uh, they use on the website. Find him on t-shirts. dot com. Come on, yeah, yeah. pro, yeah. pro <laughs> wrestling tees. Yeah, AEW tees. dot com. Every Wednesday night on AEW. Actually, this coming Tuesday, he'll be on the dark. He'll be on dark. Ooh. Hey, Ooh. Dark, he, this past Wednesday, he did a dark match. Ooh. So. Okay. I'll stay tuned and watch that, fans. That's going to be something you don't want to miss. That one. Uh, at least yeah, I enjoy that. I like that after dark. That's kind of. I do too. I think they're doing a good job with that. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty cool concept. I mean, they need something yeah, to catch is. your eye before the show. You know. Right. Yeah, I'm. I'm really enjoying that. You and I'll have to get to one of those shows eventually. <laughs> AEW definitely. If they ever come to Jersey, yeah. Cody, come on, there, book it. There you go, man. <laughs> Maybe maybe Marco will fly me up there. <laughs> yeah right. Yeah yeah we'll take the we'll take Cody's jet. There you go. <laughs> Tell it's Marco's bill. Put it on his bill. That's it. <laughs> but no. Oh man, it's, it was great to talk to you, and we'll do this great again. Talking to you as well. I'll man. talk to you. you I'll have talk. A great weekend. Yeah, I'll talk to you during the week, and we'll just. Yep. This is this will be up already. So this podcast will be up right now. So how's that? Awesome. Sounds great, so, man. You have a good night. Enjoy the rest. Right. Of, wait, I think you today's too, you yeah today's Saturday for sure. <laughs> this is Saturday. This is. <laughs> it's not. It's not too. Yesterday was not. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's forget it. Friday. Yes. All right, man. All right. You, you have a, a good week. night. It is great talking with you. Yeah, absolutely. Have a good night. All right. You too. Bye -bye. Yep. Bye bye. Fans. Wow. You know what? That was one of my. I enjoyed tonight. Tonight was a Friday night. No. <laughs> you just got me on that one. Thanks, thanks, Papa Stunt. You uh, just turned my table on that one. It's Saturday night, not Friday night. It's Saturday night live. Do you remember when Saturday night first came out? But anyway, I want to say thank you, Mr. Papa Stunt. Uh, <laughs> the father of, the dad of uh, Marco Stunt and Logan Stunt, uh, the Stunt Brothers, of course, you know that um, Marco is on TV every Wednesday with AEW and on TNT Network, and he wrestles elsewhere as well sometimes, so you'll never know where you can see him or at a autograph signing or a town near you. Logan Stunt, you know what? Shout out to him. He's, uh, he's got the... Uh, he's, He's the future of wrestling also, and, um, you know, he's always at a Game Changer wrestling event near you or somewhere. So, you know what, say hi to him and uh, see what he's all about because he's the future of wrestling. Both both are the future of wrestling, and look where they are today, traveling the world, you know, enjoying what they do. And shout out to Papa Stump for uh, coming on tonight and uh, killing it with me, having a great time, laughing, just talking shooting shit about pop you know wrestling and where his sons have been and where they are and fans stay tuned stay tuned in to the deathmatch wrestle podcast uh let's say friday no monday maybe tuesday monday or tuesday night with for a special announcement coming out for a special announcement about uh pro wrestling after dark as they come back to Brick Township PAL building January January third for as they present Don't Cross the Boss.
Thank you for listening and have a good night, everyone. Hey, wrestling fans. I want to mention Collar and Elbow. Collar and Elbow was founded on traditional values of professional wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product intended to connect with people on a, an emotional level. A symbolic relationship where one cannot flourish without the other. We strive to create a product that embodies our passion for professional wrestling expressed through street fashion. Visit CollarandElbowBrand.com and use the promo code Deathmatch Russell Podcast and save 10% off when you make a purchase. Collar and Elbow. Where wrestling passion meets street fashion. You can find more Deathmatch Russell podcasts on the following social media DeathmatchRussell.com. Follow on Twitter at DavidNJ32 and on Facebook, Facebook.com slash DJ DaveNJ32. Find me on Podcast City Network at PodcastCity.net, Facebook.com slash Podcast City Network. Hit the like button and share. And on Twitter at PodcastCityNet. You can hear Deathmatch Russell podcast on Stitcher Radio and on iTunes.